Hi, Dr. David Schiller here, and today we're going to be talking about gluten sensitivity and peripheral neuropathy. I have other posts available as peripheral neuropathy relates to diabetes and prediabetes or people with diabetic nerve pain. Uh, obviously, there's fluctuations in blood sugar uh, can cause damage to the nerves. Nerve health relies upon proper blood sugar balance, as it relies upon proper, oxi proper oxygen, as it relies upon nerves being, being activated. So just know the nerve tissue can also be damaged through dietary concerns. Now obviously the dietary concerns produce the diabetes most of the time or the pre-diabetes, but just know that gluten has a role in the damage to the coverings to your peripheral nerves that can give you the numbing and tingling, that can give you the neuropathic pain, etc. The particular gluten marker that is being targeted uh, or the antibody that can be found is called deamidated gliadin or deamidated gliadin. And it is not typically found in the tests that a normal lab would do for gluten. It's only found in one lab in the whole world, and that's Cyrex Labs. You can go to my website and find out more information about how to get that test done. But just know the typical labs are not looking for this marker called deamidated gliadin. So in order to find out whether your neuropathy is be being produced by the gluten sensitivity, you need to find out if you have this antibody. And if that is the case, obviously a gluten-free diet is going to be one of your solutions. But just keep this in mind, and as well, you can see these on my other posts, there are foods that can trigger your gluten sensitivity besides gluten. And some of the most common ones are uh, yeast and corn, dairy, uh, oats, e rice, which are gluten-free grains, which a lot of people will go towards, as well as corn, oats, rice, and corn are, are gluten-free grains, but still people are eating them because, well, I'm going to be gluten-free, but they're not doing everything necessary. So there's only one lab in the world will look for these cross-reactive foods as well, and that's the same lab we just mentioned before. So just know you can be eliminating gluten, but still getting the triggering of the damage to your nerves if you're eating foods that actually trigger the gluten sensitivity. So keep that in mind. So in order to have results from trying to rid your body of their neuropathy or try to reduce the symptoms of your neuropathy, it's going to be important to look at your diet and particularly a diet that still has gluten in it and or a diet that still has gluten-related cross-reactors in it. So keep this in mind when you're trying to, to address your peripheral neuropathy symptoms that diet's going to play a role, your blood sugar is going to play a role, and med even medications that you're taking can play a role in your peripheral neuropathy, the most common medication being statin drugs being related to the peripheral neuropathy. So foods, medications, uh, your diet, presence of diabetes, but also reactions with gluten are some of the main players in your neuropathy. So I hope you found this information helpful and make it a great day.